what unfortunately I, I am not able to say is, uh, is to prejudge the decisions of the president or the secretary on, on the waiver issue or on the sanction issue or whether Russia's invasion of Ukraine will bear on that decision. What I can say is that uh, India is a really important security partner of ours now. Yeah. And that we, we value moving forward in that partnership. And I hope that um, part of what happens with the extreme criticism that Russia has faced is that India will find it's now time to further distance. It's looking at the broader question of whether to apply sanctions under CATSA or to uh, waive those sanctions. Uh, it is critical that with any partner that the United States is able to uh, assure itself that any defense technology that we share is sufficiently protected. And so we are in the process of trying to understand whether defense technology that we are sharing with India today can be adequ adequately safeguarded uh, given India's historical re relationship with Russia and its defense sales. Uh, I have been working on India for almost three decades. Three decades ago, we could not have imagined selling anything to India on the defense side. Um, the amount and the sophistication of what today we are transferring to India is staggering. I mentioned the PAI, Maritime Surveillance Aircraft. India is the first foreign partner to get that capability. And that capability will allow them to patrol the Indian Ocean, and also to secure their land borders to make sure that they understand threats that are coming from Chinese uh, uh, opponents coming by land, but also Chinese submarines in the Indian Ocean. It's critical not only for India's security, I would argue it's critical for American security. I am of the belief that for every bullet, every radar, every fighter plane that we sell to India, that's one um, defense piece of defense equipment that we will not have to field ourselves in Asia.